Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name is Tina. In today's video, I'll show you three quick and easy best Chinese New Year decorations ideas to do on a tight budget. In particular, spruce up our home with this beautiful and simple cherry blossom flower deco with couplet. This amazing 3D lantern photo frame using recycled materials. And this lovely hand fan using napkin papers and wooden craft sticks. For the flower deco, you'll need cherry blossom flowers, table scatters, red packets, metallic strings in red and gold, red felt ribbon, glue sticks and glue gun, paper puncher, scissor. First, remove the stickers. Second, take your Chinese New Year themed paper scatters. Make a hole on the table scatter using the paper puncher. Try not to make the hole too close to the top edge of the table scatters. Here's how they look. Very simple. Third, cut out the metallic strings to your desired length. I like it a little longer so that the table scatter can dangle around the branches of your cherry blossom flower deco. Fourth, make a knot or knot it twice like so. This is how it looks. Go ahead and make another knot at the top. Here it is. As you can see, easily you can convert your table scatter to a decorative hanging piece for your Chinese New Year flower decoration. Each decorative hanging piece here is meant to usher in good fortunes. The wealth god is to symbolize more wealth. The fruit orange represent good walk and good luck. The bright, vibrant orange color is a happy color and is associated with bringing in good fortune. Gold money with the Chinese word fuk on it is to symbolize good luck. Here they are. I love it. I gently ironed the gold and red strings. Next, take an empty glass bottle. Wrap it around with the red felt ribbon. Hot glue the edge to hold it in place. Here I'm doubling the ribbon. This glass bottle is our water bottle purchased from IKEA. You can also upcycle an empty wine bottle as well. Then use a red envelope and hot glue it on the front and back side of the bottle. Go ahead and remove any dry glue spiders. Make sure to seal the corner edges of the envelope to curve it around the bottle as much as you can. Press it down. Can you see the big glob of glue? We'll cover it with a red envelope. Doing the same process, hot glue over it and make sure the edges are sealed properly. Finally, insert the branches and cherry blossom flowers into your glass bottle. Open up the branches and hang your Chinese New Year decorative pieces you just made. To make the tassel look neater, go ahead and cut off the top excess strings like so. Let's display this bouquet on top of the fireplace. We'll dress up this wooden tray first with this glamorous sparkly gold material without using any glue. Cut to your desired length and tuck it in. Here you go, a quick way to beautify your display surface. Voila, here is your first quick and easy Chinese New Year decoration idea. Beautiful, delicate, and decorative on a budget. For the 3D Chinese New Year Red Lantern frame using recycled materials, you'll need an empty chocolate box with the elastic ribbon, recycled Christmas wrapping paper, glue stick, round shapes, pen, scissor, gold marker, and decorative half bead mesh ball. First, make the 3D lantern shape, trace out the round shape on the wrapping paper, and cut it out. Here you may have noticed that I used two round shapes. That's because I kept a bigger round shape to make a Chinese New Year card. The smaller circle cut out will be used for this 3D Chinese New Year DIY red lantern frame. Lay them flat under a heavy item to straighten them out as much as you can since they are recycled from my children's Christmas wrapping papers. Second, for each 3D lantern, you'll need three round cutout you just made. Fold in the middle like so and glue the plain side against each other. If there are any tapes, go ahead and peel them out. 
Here's what I mean. Very simple, glue the plain side against each other like so. Press them together. Now, take the third round cut out and glue them again, same way. Here you go, here's your 3D half lantern. Third, go ahead and cut off any excess piece for a needle look. Continue to make as many as you need. For this DIY, I need 12 cutouts to make 3 3D lanterns. Fourth, we'll use the bottom empty chocolate box and this gold elastic that came with it. If you look at it, this bottom box is perfect as the frame as it's quite deep and the corners are pretty solid. Next, using the gold paint marker, go ahead, shake the marker and write some good meaningful Chinese phrases. Here I wrote Da Shi Da Li meaning good luck and big profits. To all my viewers, may good fortune meet your wishes this new year and always. Go ahead, tuck the gold elastic from the top of the frame to the bottom. Lay them straight and hot glue it in place like so. Cut off just enough excess such that you can still tuck the tail into the fold like so. Once you have the length you need, hot glue in place the bottom half of the elastic to your frame. Then go ahead and lay out your 3D lantern balls and place it the way you would like them. Hot glue it and press it down. Finally, to give it a festive flowing red lights effect on the background, decorate the wide area of your frame with this beautiful decorative half bead mesh balls. Cut to your desired length and hot glue it in place. Voila! Here is your amazing 3D lantern photo frame using recycled materials. I love how this turned out. The handmade 3D lanterns made out of last year's Christmas wrapping papers and the half bead mesh balls just simply fits the theme perfectly. For the third DIY, you'll need glue stick, two wooden craft sticks and two sheets of red napkin papers. I love the vibrant red of this napkin paper. You can use construction paper to do this easy DIY craft as well. Use the wooden craft stick as a measurement for how wide each fold is needed. Accordion fold is simply a series of alternating folds. Simply make accordion fold lengthwise like so. Next, fold it in the middle and glue them together along the folds like so. Press them together. This is how it looks like with just one sheet of napkin paper. Then go ahead and do the same process with the other sheet. Glue them together. Separate the middle fold if needed. Finally, to make the base of the hand fan, glue the wooden craft stick to the corner edge of the paper hand fan you just made. Here you go. Separate the sheets if needed. For the final step, glue the bottom of the first couple folds along the middle like so. This is just to make sure that the papers stay in place as the napkin is very light. Go ahead and do the same process for your other decorative hand fan. Voila! Here is your lovely and delicate hand fan using napkin papers and wooden craft sticks. This is seriously one of the easiest crafts you should try to get into the festive spirit. I love how this vibrant red napkin paper is so light and it makes this decorative piece very delicate. And the color, it simply pops. Red symbolizes good luck. Last but not least, to usher in good luck, good health and happiness into our home, I hung this DIY wall art made out of red packets and stapler. 
link in the description down below. Those are my three quick and easy best Chinese New Year decorations ideas to do on a tight budget. I hope you found value in this video. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe for more quick and easy DIYs. Happy Chinese New Year! May you have the best year ever and always. Be sure to check out this video on how to make a DIY wall art using red packets and this quick and easy DIY under $5. You will be glad that you did. Thank you so much for watching my video and I'll see you in my next one. Take care. Bye.